just a sea change, and it's a great way to tell the world that's not who we are. We're not a hateful, exclusive city. We're a welcoming city. Good evening, everyone. Rob is off tonight. Starting next year, transgender procedures will be covered by the city's health insurance. A letter from city council prompted the city's interim manager, Scott Stiles, to make the change last week. Local 12 Sydney Benter found out what the new coverage means for the city. A change to its health care coverage is catapulting Cincinnati to the top of a list of LGBT-friendly cities. We're a major employer, over 5,000 employees, and what we have to do is make sure that our uh, benefit programs under their health insurance are what they should be in terms of uh, uh, other employers and in terms of medical needs of our employees. And what the city has decided is that it will start covering medically necessary transgender procedures. Procter & Gamble and U.S. Bank are two of Cincinnati's larger companies already covering these types of procedures. Scott Knox is an attorney who handles LGBT legal issues. He helped push the change through City Hall. And this is part of being welcoming and saying if you're the best for that position, we want to keep you here. And we don't care if you're black or gay or transgendered or male or female. If you're the good person for that job, we want to keep you. This is a means of doing that. Uriah Milton lives in Cincinnati and says that the move and the statement it makes means a lot to the transgender community. I think it's going to be a lot, a lot of things change. There's going to be a lot of people that's mad. But I mean, they just going to have to accept it because we are who we are. The Human Rights Campaign rates cities based on how welcoming they are to the LGBT community. This new coverage gives Cincinnati a 100% rating on their scale, something Knox says gives Cincinnati a leg up from an economic standpoint. It's the rating they're going to look to to see, is that a place that welcomes us for our talent and doesn't care that um, I'm transgendered or that I'm gay. And Columbus is the only city in Ohio to score a 100 last year. Indianapolis scored a 66 and Louisville and Lexington were in the 50s. Cities like Seattle and San Francisco have already made these changes to their health care coverage. Knox says San Francisco set up a fund with a surcharge in case people flock to the city to have the procedures. It quickly did away with that when officials realized the demand didn't require it. It's a, he says Seattle's costs increased by only 0.08%. Back to you. All right, Sydney Benter reporting for us. Thank you. City Council member Chris Seelbach, the first openly gay member of council, says the change is another step in making the city as competitive and inclusive as possible. He was one of a majority of council members to sign a letter asking to make the change. The